Hello, everybody. Uh, Gamer CJ here. Um, today is my birthday, so I'm in. I'm going to talk about a video that I've been doing a while for a while now. We're going to be talking about the albums I like. A lot of these are in my uh, on my uh, on my computer, like on my iTunes. These are my favorite albums from 1984. Heavy metal albums from 1984. A lot of albums I like are from 85. 80 between... A lot of heavy, well, metal in general are between, between 80 and, uh, and 88. But, uh, you know, we're going to talk about this right now. So, uh, it's going to be from 1 to 10, um, these albums. Uh, and a, a lot of the stuff here are just... You know, I have a lot of reissues. I have a lot of stuff, but we're going to start off with um, number uh, number four and, or number ten, and it's "Visions of the Past" by a band called Axe Witch. Uh, they're a Swedish band. Uh, I have their I have three of their albums. I'm not going to play anything for copyright because you know obvious reasons. But number one is "Visions of the Past." I was just listening to this the other day. "Visions of the Past," "Give Them Hell," "Tonight," "Hot Lady," "Stand Up." Heading for the Storm, Born in Hell, and Time to Live. All these, all this stuff is good. I think 84 is amazing year for, for just metal or rock in general. There are going to be some punk albums in here because um, a lot of it is good. Oh, speaking of punk, Short Sharp Shock is number, uh, number nine. Uh, this is Chaos UK. Um... I have the uh, Rot Ride City Years from 1981 because I'm really into their song 4 Minute Warning. But for this, you have Lawless Brooklyn. Uh, I mean, this is a this is an amazing punk record. If if you like uh, just unadulterated, just uh, hardcore punk fury, so you got Lawless Brooklyn, Living in Fear, Detention Center, Cash UK Support, Control, People at the Top. Which is one of my favorites, Global Domination. No one seem no one seems to really care. And of course, they have to put in a goofy song because there's a song off the first album called Farmyard Boogie, so they have to they have to follow it up with Farmyard Stompo. Uh, Alright. Next one. Taken by Storm by Bronze. Now this band I really like. Uh, New Wave of British Heavy Metal, I mean, New Wave of British Heavy Metal, people say, ended in 1980, 1984, but, but according, but what I said in one of my podcasts, the Cedric Griffin podcast, um, that I feel that extended at least to 86, because there's some bands that still put out ba uh, albums in that style that came out during those years, so this one is really good, I mean, it's, it's a mix of stuff. It has a little bit of hard rock, has a little bit of keyboards, you know, Send Down an Angel, Heat of the Night, The Cold Truth, Night Runner, Taken by Taken by Storm, Don't Ever Wanna Lose Ya, Sweet Lady, Harder Than Diamond, Tiger and Loneliness is mine. I mean, it, it it's got the twin lead guitarists, the gu guitars I like, which is pretty, pretty good. Um so um What's next? Next on the list. Um, I haven't got to listen to this before. I mean, I'm just ranking it because I have a lot of albums from 84. But what I hear about this, this is one of the original or one of the only African-American metal bands. Because there was, uh, and this, uh, there was another band, but um, I forgot. Uh, and um, I think, um, what's the guy, what's the, what's the channel's name? <sighs> metal school because a lot of the albums I, I found like I found this through him I found another album called Gargoyle I found a lot of different stuff but I mean this album is pretty good I mean I mean you've got um, you've got Land of the Living Dead The Hunger When the Tears Run Red you know uh, you've got Fear No Evil which is not a Grim Reaper song by the way uh, you've got The Scream of the Iron Messiah Street Rocker Black Death uh, which is Black Death is, I mean, I mean, this is my kind of album because I like metal albums that, you know what I mean? Uh, like, there's only one song that is three minutes. The rest of them are longer. 
at least four minutes. So you got Here Comes the Wrecking Crew Retribution taken by force and Until We Rock. Now, when I'm done with this, I'm going to rate everything. Um, but this album is pretty good. So I just wanted to play that. Um, but uh, I, I, when I listened to it, it sounded like Judas Priest. Um, that's Priest is my favorite. Now, I don't have any Priest albums from this era because I'm not really a big uh, Defenders of the Faith fan. Actually, let's go down the list because um, I'm going to just read it out, just see something like, like I know all these albums. I'm just see, but like when you listen to music a lot, it's it's hard to really uh, really determine what what you would like. Um, and I'm also gonna rank what albums I like from 1985 because 1985 there's so many there's so much better albums from 85, in my opinion. You know, 80, 80, 84, 85, 86, like some really good kick-ass metal bands from or kick-ass albums from from that era. You know. You know what I mean? You have you have that one, and then of course, all right. Um, so uh, let's go on the list uh, of next one. Um, you guys are gonna hate me for this. I'm a big Maiden fan. Uh, number eight is Power Slave. Um, first two tracks, Aces High and Two Minutes to Men, are my favorite. Um, th I find this album to be. Uh, very influential because I I'm not going to play it for obvious reasons. I mean, I mean, if you are if you are a fan of metal, y you will know uh, what I'm talking about. But Ace is High and Two Into the Night, really good songs. Um, uh, Lucifer Words Big R, it's, a, it's an okay song. Um, Flesh of the Blade, The Duelist is a really good song. Like my favorites are tracks one and two, and then you have track. Track five, track I love Power Slave. You gotta be a power slave. I can't I can't sing like Bruce. Um, you've got you've got number seven, uh, seven and eight. So my favorite songs on here are one, two, five, seven, and eight. And Robin H and Mariner is you know it's an epic song, and it. It, uh, it's very progressive, and for me being a big Halloween fan, I know where they got the inspiration for Halloween and Keeper of Seven Keys. Like thirteen, like thirteen minutes of epicness, and it's got the same. Uh, it's got that gallop, you know. It's it's it fits the whole theme of the album. I mean, obviously, with Peace of Mind, it's a little different, and of course, Number of the Beast, but. Um, you know, whatever. All right, so we're going down the list um, of albums I like. Jag. Uh, so uh, getting off topic a little bit, I love Liege Lord, but their first album came out in '85. Like this album is amazing. Um, and I might actually review that uh, later. Uh, you've got you've got Living Dead, which is not from '84. Um, and yeah, as we go down the list, I'm gonna like. I don't really have honestly, uh, the, the, so. I don't. A lot. Of, it's, it's hard to say, but there's a lot of albums I like, but then most of them are from, from different eras, like, uh, especially considering. Okay, actually. Now, this is going to be like a full, like, like you guys are like, oh, but who does even know about it? Uh, Riot Squad, 1984. I love this album. Um, I think this might be a, a compilation, but a lot of the punk albums I get are, are like to download because I download most of it because um, I'm a rebel. Um, yeah. Uh, no Potential Threat. Uh, see, lately, uh, I, I love listening to punk, but, but lately, and... Around this time, I get a lot of anxiety, and it's nothing to do with the music. It's just I want to listen to something that's more melodic. Like, like punk is good, but punk gives me a certain energy. Like, I need to be in the mood for it. And this album, I like. I mean, and I'm gonna say it straight up. Yeah, it has a lot of anti-police songs and a lot of like anti like establishment songs. But I have a lot of I have a lot of friends that you know. One of my 
Taekwondo teacher, he's a police officer and all that stuff. You know, I don't support police. I don't. I support police officers. I think that they're helpful, but but I, I still listen. To, I still like songs that talk about it because it's it's good music. I mean, I, I mean, I mean, you know, uh, like I don't care. So you've got um, in the future police power, no potential threat, society's fodder, uh, su suspicion. Which is suspicion? I can't say that. Uh, Lost cause, Friday Night Hero, United Fight, Fuck the Tornies, which I have no idea what the fuck that is. Uh, we are the Riot Squad, C Civil Destruction, Riots in the City, Religion Doesn't Mean a Thing, Why Should We Know Solution, Government Schemes, 10 Years Time, Hate the Law, which I don't hate the law. I mean, even though some of the law is bullshit, but that's, that's beside the point. Hidden Fear, Lost Cause, and United Fight. Now, the reason I like this album is because... Um, some of the stuff that they talk about, especially civil destruction, a lot of that's going on in the news. You know, most of this, you know, even though it came out in 84, it's still true today. Like, like when all that, I mean, there's still violence going on. I mean, it's my birthday today and I know I'm going to look at the news and say, oh, someone got shot. You know, instead of, can we just have one day of peace in this world? Like, why does it always have to be violence? Like, does there always have to be violence? Like, like, like we're all the same species. We're humans. We, we can't just treat each other like, like we're the same species. Like, we shouldn't think we're better than everybody. Like, that, that, that's bullshit to me. I think it's bullshit. I think, I think if you are really, like, like, but, uh, like, you shouldn't think of yourself as someone that's better than anyone. I mean, that's why I think, that's why I think humanity is so fucked up because... In, instead of instead of having us try to be like, oh, you know what, we can have a good, you know what, uh, you know what, we're stupid skin color, but we all came from the same place. Now nah, let's not do that. Let's actually not do that and say we did. Uh, all right, uh, and I, I needed to rant about it. I just really don't want any violence today. I really don't. I'm sick of I'm sick of, I'm sick of violence. I just want. I, I mean, I really just want peace. I don't want any bullshit, but there's going to be bullshit. There, there is. There, there is. All right. Um, let's see. I was on number seven. Um, um, hmm. It, this is a live album. I really like the Verukers or Volkers. Um, this is a really good live album, live in Leeds '84. Um, once again, another um, another politically charged punk band. I like all the politically charged punk bands. I'm not a politically charged person, but I like I like punk that is politically charged, just because I know that you know it gives me it gives me like an it, you know it's it's some of this is so real that it you know it doesn't you know e even though this came out in '84, it's still relevant today. Uh, protest and sir, protest, protest to survive. Don't conform. Condemn to death. Die for your government. Good time, girls. Nowhere to go. Don't be a victim. Um, all systems fail. Neglected. No scapegoat. Soldier boy, dance till you're dead. Led to the slaughter. No escape. The last war. Um, and no, no masters. No slaves. So pretty much, this is the live album that they have. Um, this is the history, but that came out in '89, and I, I rather have gotten a live album. I'm a big fan of punk live albums; are really good. So that is my number six, six or seven. I don't know. Um, damn it! Um, shit. Oh, um, number six, right? Is Wasp debut album? If you guys say this is hair metal, this album I don't you know I'm I I don't listen to bands if they have shock rock, you know like like uh, like uh, basically um, Wasp with shock rock. Like if I was at a Wasp show, I wouldn't I wouldn't care about if they did stuff. I mean, I mean, I like music for the music. I mean, I mean this is a this edition of the album. Um, it's not the original. It's more of the like reissue that has Animal. I want to be somebody. 
I wanna be somebody, be somebody soon. I wanna be somebody, be somebody soon. Uh, Love Machine, uh, The Flame. It's an okay song. It's a ballad. Oh no, it's not a ballad. Uh, Bad, B A D. Um, School Days is really good. Hellion, amazing. Sleeping in the Fire is a good ballad. I would have if, if I would have made this album, I would have kept it off. On Your Knees, Tormentor, The Torture Never Stops, and Show No Mercy. This album is amazing, and someone and and I love Carrie King from Slayer. Well, he needs to shut his mouth. Like I, I get it; it's not your cup of tea, Carrie. But um, Wasp is metal because this album is badass. So. And and you say like you like Van Halen and no disrespect to Van Halen, but why? But that's from the same scene. Van Halen and Was, yeah. I mean they're all influ- I mean it's the same same stuff. Okay, we have uh, number five, and it's Speedway by a band called Warhead. Um, this album is amazing. Uh, I, I'm a big fan of speed metal. And uh, I actually removed this one in the album after because I was like, just like, ugh. You know, I don't want to listen to it. And then, because I was only listening to punk, and then all of a sudden I was like, you know, I got to get back into speed metal. It's pretty much, uh, the the songs are very short uh, compared to the next album where um, half of the songs are four minutes. All these songs, except for Attack of the Shark, which is an amazing song. Um, You have Speedway, Kill the Witch, Driver... Devil's Child, Attack of the Shark, Alliance, Attack is Kill, and First Night of the Apocalypse. Uh, basically what I was talking about for the last... I mean, w- when it's metal, I, I'm going to say the tracks that I like. If it's punk, because punk is, to me is just it's just the same. It's So I like pretty much every song on the track. Speedway is a good song. Kill the Witch, Driver, Devil's Child. Devil's Child is okay. Attack of the Shark is good, but it's more it's more traditional heavy metal. Uh, the Alliance is okay. Attack and Kill, amazing song. And, of course, you've got The First Light of the Apocalypse. It's okay. You know, I thought it would be, uh, you know, they should have made it longer, but whatever. This is just an amazing speed metal record, and that's my number five. All right, we got next one because it's right over here. Um, we have Wasted, Halloween, Hall- Halloween, Night of. This album is pretty good. Um, I like Evil. I like Chained, Love and Pain. It's, it's, I just need to play it. it it's very, um, I downloaded it, I listened to it, I was like, man, this is pretty good. Um, you have Chained, Evil, Love and Pain. It's like speed metal. Uh, very speed metal-esque. You've got Goodbye, ha- Halloween, the, the title track, Demons Recalling, I'm Burning, and of course you have The King. So I love tracks one and two. I have four. I have, I love, well, I, this album is amazing. It's amazing. As we get closer down the list, you know, it's going to be pretty good. Uh, that is my number five. So now we get into number four. And uh, this album is great. As we get closer and closer, um, this album is pretty good. Um, this is Witch Cross, Fit for Fighting, and this has pretty much, uh, it's, it's a hard rock record, pretty much. It's very hard rock, but it's very melodic. Um, as, we get, as we get closer to, and now we're in the top five, but um, I mean, it's just a very hard rocky, very good sound, and I love Alex Savage's uh, voice. I think you know his singing is amazing. I really well. Now I'm gonna get copyright for it, but like yeah, fit for you have Night Flight to Tokyo, an amazing song. Um, Night Flight to Tokyo, I gotta be a Tokyo Rose. Night Flight to Tokyo, and then you have Face of a Clown, and this. And then, of course, you got Rockin' the Night. Rockin'. Dun, dun, rockin'. You know, and of course, you've got you've got Killer Dogs and Fight the Fire. You know, Burn in Desire. You know, just um, 
Axe Dance, Touch of Light, uh, uh, Alien Savage, uh, and then these extra tracks. I guess they're demos. Are You There, No Angel, Alien Savage, Burning On, Killer Dogs, and No Mercy. That's number four. Um, I forgot what year this is from. Um, so, yeah. And now, so, as we get closer and closer, because now I'm starting to get closer to the, you know, the end of the list. Um, oh, wait. Number number four? Were we at, oh, is that number four? Um, oh, yeah. Uh Whatever, I think this is number... Th I'm pretty sure this is number three. So yeah, this is number three. Um, we have Spartan Warrior. Um, uh, yeah, we have Spartan Warrior, the debut record. Uh, this album is pretty good. Um, well, this is actually... I shouldn't say it. This is, there's another band uh, that's also from 94. That's a new album. Um... This is uh, this is uh, B. This is one B, or this is three B. Uh, unless this is four, I don't I don't know. I'm losing track. Um, it's my birthday. Today. I'm kind of like out of it. Every year on my birthday, I just you know, I get it. Like stuff happens. I don't know. Um. So anyway, we have um, Spartan Warrior Assass. Uh, this one, I'm not a... F I don't... You know, whatever. P pretend I'm not talking about Spartan War. I'm sorry. Uh, what I meant to say was an album I actually listened to. It's called Blade Runner, and the album is called Haunted. Um, this album was good, except the fact that I have track one, uh, track one and track two, which is weird. So, you have Dogs of War, Too Far, Too Late, Run From the Night, Backstreet Lady, Backstreet Lady, which is a really good song. The Steeler, Hunted, I Got to Rock Back on the Street Looking from the Outside. This album is amazing. And this is my number three. Sorry, Spartan War, I'm not really a big fan of you that much. And of course, if we're, when we get into 86, because um, th it's only like five albums I like from 86, this album I prefer much better because this is more power metal. This is more the uh hunted is more new uh classic new album so my favorite songs are dogs of war backstreet lady the stealer i've got a rock back on the street and looking from the outside so now we're getting into the top now we're getting into the top few uh, uh top two i should say and we're gonna uh, actually talk about an album because i have so much here um we're gonna talk about uh, we're going to talk about my one of my favorite albums from 1984, and it is Storm Witch. The Witch is alive, and it's uh, that's what that's what they always say. I have a shirt by this album with this album cover. It's such an amazing record. I'm not going to play it. Um, if you're a classic metal fan, you probably have listened to this before. Um, you have Cave of Steenfold, which is the opening track. Are you ready for the Cave of Steenfold? Of course, you've got my favorite song, one of my favorite songs. I love all the songs on the album. My favorite is Priest of Evil. Priest! Priest of Evil! In the Stanada 666. Priest. In the Priest of Evil. In the Stanada 666. And then, of course, you got Skull and, Skull and Crossbones. Dun, 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 dun. Of course, we got Wero's on the Hunt of Speed Metal track. Well, you know, uh, Walpurgis Night, the title track. The time has come. Which is already the fight and tun 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 and then and then and then tun on the hill and it's no tun 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 sorry I can't I don't remember I'm just singing but I Flower in the Wind really good song Warlord Excalibur which is an instrumental track in a Thunderland so that is my number two and then uh, for my favorite 
album from 1984. And I'm sorry, it was either this or Rat's debut is Icon's debut record, Icon. Super underrated. This album is incredibly underrated. Um, it's amazing. This is from Arizona. This band is from Arizona. And whenever I hear this album, it puts me in a good mood. Rock on through the night, Killer Machine, On Your Feet, which was a uh, video that they did. World War, amazing. Hot Desert Night. It's my one of my favorite songs on the album, Under My Gun. Rock and Roll Maniac. Rock and Roll Maniac. With the six string in my back. Rock and Roll Maniac. And then, of course, I'm alive and I'm ready to go. Dun, 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 dun. Ah, I'm alive. And then, of course, you've got the ballad, It's Up to You, which I always, which I was listening to the other day and I thought it sounded like, I don't know. I don't know why. I, I, I'm not a Boston fan, but I heard Amanda from a Boston. It's like, have you ever guys ever like heard a song and then like you, it's like, oh my God, wait. Oh, I know that. Wait, but that's like, that's it. That like, uh, wait, that song sounds like, and then you tell someone else and they're like, no, that's not, that's not true. All right, so these are my, uh, we got my, those are my favorite albums from from 1984, uh, and if you guys forgot, I apologize because I really, really don't remember. I was, uh, you know, it's kind of like um, I'm kind of just rambling. That's pretty much what I've been doing, you know. So if you guys missed anything, just let me know in the comments. But I want to know what you guys think about uh, about the albums that I um, uh, that I just uh, mentioned. Let me know in the comments what your top 10 favorite albums from 1984 are. I mean, I, there's other ones, obviously, but, you know, I, I don't want to be here all day. Um, expect a uh, Pac-Man video in a little bit. This is Gamer CJ, the 28-year-old. I will talk to you guys later. Bye.